हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई विल डिस्कस मेमोरी इंटरफेसिंग ओके व्हाट इज मेमोरी इंटरफेसिंग एंड व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस मेमोरी इंटरफेसिंग यू नो माइक्रो प्रोसेसर नीड्स टू एक्सेस डेटा एंड कोड व्हिच आर स्टोर्ड इन मेमोरी क्वाइट फ्रीक्वेंटली ओके एंड दिस एक्सेस is done by memory interfacing and you know there are two type of memory ram and rom before that i will differentiate between input output mapped input output and memory mapped input output okay in case of memory mapped input output data is coming in microprocessor from memory or you can say or data is going from microprocessor to memory in in case of input output mapped input output data is coming from input port into microprocessor or data is going from microprocessor to output port means i o input output is treated as memory in this case input output is treated as input output in case of memory you know there is 16 bit addressing so in this case 8 bit addressing now next different next different total memory capacity here 64k 2 ki power 16 here 256 2 ki power 8 because address lines are from a0 to a15 so more hardware is required for decoding in this case less hardware is required for decoding next memory instructions are used special instructions like in or out are only in or out are used here add m sta lda ldx stx all these are used memory control signals are memory read and memory write in this case input output read and input output write arithmetic and logical operation can be performed on dot in by using memory mapped input output you can perform arithmetic and logical operation for example add m a n a m okay but here you cannot perform arithmetic and logical operation only there are two instructions in or out through which you can perform data transfer instruction in this data transfer is between register any register and memory okay but in this case data transfer is between accumulator and input output in this case you can transfer data in other register b c d for example move b comma m okay move m comma d but here only accumulator is involved for example in 45 out 45 now come into memory chip okay this is your memory interface this is your read write memory or can, you can say ram in this you can perform both read as well as write operation okay so there will be wr bar and rd bar signal and input buffer input data and input buffer means you are performing write operation write means data is coming from microprocessor to memory so wr bar cs bar it is chip select signal every ic has chip select signal rd bar it is in output buffer output data d0 to d7 data bus and suppose this 2048 this is nothing this is total number of registers okay this 8 is nothing this is size of each register you know memory is nothing it is group of registers so first of all you will determine total number of address lines required to connect with memory chip how a0 to a10 is coming 2048 means nothing 2 into 1024 2 into 2 to the power 10 means 2 to the power 11 okay it means it is 2 kb ram 2 kb ram 2 to the power 11 okay so data line are coming a address lines are a0 to a a10 okay you can determine by using this formula memory capacity 2 to the power address lines this is 2 kb memory 2 into 1024 so 2 to the power 11 so a0 to a10 now e prom you know it is erasable programmable read only memory erasable means it means you can erase and you can program again and again and you can erase either by using ultraviolet ray or by electrical 
okay in this case because we can perform only read operation so there will be only read bar there is no input buffer okay this is ch bar chips like signal output buffer this is internal decoder now how you will interface microprocessor with memory just you have to remember these three step first determine 8085 address lines which are connected to the memory chip by using formula memory capacity equal to 2 to the power address line why a0 to a11 are coming okay a0 to a11 means this is 4096 4096 means 4 into 1024 means total 4096 registers and size of each register is 8 bit 4 into 1024 4 means 2 to the power 2 into 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 12 2 to the power 12 means a0 to a11 the very first thing with the help of this formula you will determine number of address lines required to connect with memory chip now remaining address lines means you know the address bus of 8085 is a0 to a15 so remaining lines you will connect with the decoder and output of decoder is connected to c dash which enables memory chip now generate control signal and it will enable output board you have already seen in case of pin diagram how to generate con control signals memory read memory writes input output read input output write now this is question how you will interface 4kb eprom with 8085 and also you have to determine addressing range okay so very first thing remember this memory capacity equal to 2 to the power address line so in this case this is 4 kb so 4 kb means 4096 2 to the power 12 so at the line a0 to a11 okay this is output buffer d0 to d7 now remaining lines means a 12, 13, 14 and 15 are connected with the decoder. In case of decoder, you can also use NAND gate. Okay. Uh, here I am using 3 to 8 decoder and this is active low decoder because all are active. This is active low signal. Now, you know what is the function of decoder. If there are 3 inputs, their possible value will be 8. In this case, I am taking O0. 8 means it will be 0, it will be 0, it will be 0. Suppose I am taking O5 then it will be 1 it will be 0 it will be 1 out of 8 possible value you can take only one value at a time suppose this is o0 so it will be 0 0 0 and now a12 a13 a14 are input of decoder now this a15 connect here okay in one ic there can be more than one enable line okay e1 bar this is E2 bar, this is power supply, ground and plus 5 volt. Okay, output of this connect to here. The same point I discussed here, remaining at the lines of 8085 are connected to decoder. Output of decoder is connected to C dash, which enables memory chip. Now it will enable mem when it will be 0, then this chip will be enabled. Okay, means you have permission to read address from here okay now in this case even now the most important thing how when this decoder will work okay it will work only when e1 bar is 0 means a15 is 0 when e2 bar is 0 because active low and e3 it is active high so e3 is 1 okay in this case it will only work when this is 0 this is 0 because active low and this is 1 now generate control signal you have already seen in pin diagram how to generate memory read signal because in case of ROM there is only memory read so I not oblique M bar RD bar connect with bubbled NAND read so this when you can perform read operation from memory just record when its value is 0 I not oblique M bar is 0 okay this is 0 now this is 0 this is 0 means this is here 1 here 1 then here 1 here 1 means here 1 now it is bubble it is 0 means now you can access this memory or you are output enable okay this is 0 means you can 
access that memory. If it's really here one, you cannot access. Okay, and how you will determine the addressing range? Just write down A02, A15. Okay, and write down A02, A11. This is for memory. Only range is selected for this memory chip. It means there are 4096 register and every register has a specific address. So, all minimum value can be 0 or maximum value can be 1. So, just here all 12 bits are 0. Here all 12 bits are 1. Maximum value is 1. Now for here. Now come into decoder. Okay. This is O0. When it will become O0. When this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. It, here in O0 it will be 0. In other O1, 2, O7 there will be 1. Because it is active low decoder. So O0 means 0, 0, 0. Okay. And when this decoder will work. When A15 is 0. Okay. And these two are not used in address. So you do not need to worry about this. The same thing. Just keep common here. 0, 0, 0. These are common. Just range will be from memory address line. Which are connected with memory. So range. 0, 0, 0, 0 means 0, 0, 0, H. 2. 0, 0, 0. F, 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 H. Okay. In this way, you can determine addressing range. Means according to this, you can access memory from 0, 0, 0, H to 0, F, 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 H only. Suppose, this is O7. Okay. O7. Now you have to determine addressing range. When it will be O7? When it is 1, 1, 1. Okay. This is 1. This is 1, 1. Now just replace 1, 1, 1. Again, 1, 1, 1 here. And A15, 0. So, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1. In this case, in case of O7, what will be the range? 7, 0, 0, 0, 2, 7, F, F, F. Similarly, you can determine for O6, O4 or O3. Now, come into RAM interfacing. Okay. RAM, this is 2048. Means 2 KB memory. 2 KB means 2 to the power 11. So, A0 to A10. Okay. Connect here. Remaining lines are connected here. A11, A12, A13, A14 here, A15 here. Okay. You can make either active low or active high. Now suppose A15 is active high, A14 is active low. Now, in this we can perform both read as well as write operation. So, we will give separate RD bar and WR bar. WE bar and OE bar. And output of this decoder is connected to chip enable of this memory. C bar. Okay. Now remaining lines. A11, A12, A13, A14, A15. Now you know in case of memory read or memory write, I not oblique M bar must be 0. So I connect I not oblique M bar here. This is 0. Now how will you determine addressing range? In this case, when this decoder will work, when this is 0, this A14 is 0 and A15 is 1. Okay, this so A15 is 1, you active I, so A15 is 1. A14 is 0. 0. Now, we are determining for O1. O1 means 0, 0, 1. Okay. So, 0, 0, 0, 1. Similarly, for here, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay. The same value here. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, for memory address lines. A0 to A10. Minimum value 0 and maximum value 1. So, range will be 1, 0, 0, 1, 88, 0, 0, 2, 8, F, 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 F. This is same value. Here is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 8, F, F, F. Okay. Similarly, suppose you have to determine for O7. Then here will be 1, here will be 1, here will be 1. Now, here 1, here 0. Now, this is 1, 1, 1. Here 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Similarly, you can determine addressing range for other. Okay. It's all about how to interface 
your RAM or EEPROM with microprocessor and how to determine addressing range. For this, you need to remember these three steps. Okay, it's all about your today lecture. Thank you so much for watching and have a good time.